the pair skating champions of the United States, pair skating champions of the world, Ty Babylonia and Randy Gardner. In 1971, um, I was introduced to Ty Babylonia and Randy Gardner by their first coach, Coach Mabel Fairbanks. Uh, Ty, I think, was 12 years old. Randy was 14. I was 42. It was 46 years ago. It just seems like yesterday. Mabel had given them a wonderful foundation in pair skating. Although she said at the beginning, the first few months when they were very young, they didn't even want to hold hands. So of course, teaching pair was a little tricky. She had to, in the beginning, had to bribe me because I didn't want, you know, holding a boy's hand at eight years old who you really don't know. And Randy, in school, he would play on the bars, on the jungle gym, and he had blisters. So that didn't, that didn't help. You know, I didn't wear any of those gloves or any protection, just maybe chalk, and I'd swing around and do all that stuff. You know, so I'd go to the rink, and my hands would be all blistered up and icky and she'd go, We Ew. called it, well, you had cooties. Cooties. I thought they were a nice couple of kids. I thought they had a little talent. I didn't realize then quite how much talent. The following year, um, Ty and Randy won the United States Junior Pair Championship. And then of course moved into senior competition. We improved so quickly with Mr. Nix. I mean, he was, and I think still is, one of the, the best pair coaches ever. We started winning everything, and we just really turned into a, a, a you know, a real pair team. All of a sudden, this young team from Los Angeles, it's like Los Angeles, and who are these kids? They're, they were kids competing with Irina Rodnina and those top Russian and East German pair teams. In those years, pair skating was dominated by Russian and East German pairs, with the uh, man partner usually being about 6 to 6 1, weighing 185 pounds, and his partner about 4'10 to 5 foot, weighing about half of that. And so, if you may remember, Ty and Randy didn't have that sort of physicality. To be successful, Ty and Randy thought they maybe would have to go in a different direction. And so we concentrated very much on what was then called the second mark, which was artistic impression. And that consisted of unison, uh, musicality, originality, elegance, and uh, all the artistic side of, of pair skating. The next few years, they won medals at the uh, World Championship representing the United States. 77, we got the bronze medal. 78, we got the bronze medal. 79, we, we nailed it. Only one American pair has ever won this championship. Carol and Peter Kennedy in 1950. 29 years ago, this then is a very big moment for American figure skating. And they are the leaders. And the first of their program, the first five or six moves are the power moves and the difficult ones. They open first with a throw triple Salgao. There it is. Hey. Beauty, lovely. It was like a dream because everything clicked. And a throw, double axel. There it is, watch him lift her. Nice, nice, nice. The names we've heard in pairs before have been Protopopov, Rodnina, and Zaitsev. All Russians. This is an American pair with less.
less than a minute to go. Very beautiful combination. Spread Eagles into an inside Edith Bauer. And now look at the extension of the back of the arch right here as they come out into it. My right skate came unlaced the last 30 seconds, but I had the boot cover on to keep it. And you'll see at the end, I'm doing the death spiral at the end. Yes. And I was I didn't just, know. and I was just holding on. I felt it at the last <gasps> jump combination. Yes. That's what that, that, that I was like, uh oh, something snapped. But I, what can I do? This could be a little sporting history. The end of their program. Here it is, a death spiral. He has only not to go off the edge, or she too. And there it is. It is it. It all clicked. It clicked. And, it clicked. And you, 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 it's luck, it's timing, it's training, it's training. whatever it is. It, it's all those things. Yeah. Isn't that a great scene? Isn't that beautiful? The 18-year-old girl, 20-year-old young man, now hugging her coach, John Nix. I got that hug and kiss from Mr. Nix, which, you know, he's not, he doesn't do that all the time. I got one of those. Now the second set coming up. Look at that. 5-9, 5-9, 5 5-8, 5-9, 5 5 6.0. A perfect part from the West German. 5-7, five, 5-7, seven, five, seven, and even the Canadian judge gives them a 5-7. They've got it, there's no question. You're looking at only the second American pair ever to win the world championship in pairs figure skating. Dick is moving down there now. All right, Dick. Randy, Ty, I'm so excited myself. What do you think? I'm so happy we got our first 6 0 today. That was my dream. And now, and now what's going to happen? Well, we have to look forward to Olympics next year. Um, I think this competition will help us. Lots of hard work. The following year, of course, was Olympics, and some of you may remember Randy got uh, injured severely and really, after warming up, was unable to continue. The injury happened 10 days before we left for Lake Placid. And it was skatable, doable, and then uh, kept training. When we got there, I'll never forget, it was the opening ceremonies outside in the cold, and we had a practice at night, about six or seven at night and we went to train and do all that and I snapped it again and I re-injured it and that's what did it. And there is Randy Gardner making his way out to the ice. I gotta tell you, my heart is in my mouth. I can tell that, I really can. This is, if, what, a, what a moment, what a time for this to happen. It was a pretty severe groin pull. There were two of them, and I was hemorrhaging internally and stuff, and up to my stomach and down to my knee, all that. What a, I just hope that they are able to pull this off and give themselves another day and a half. Oh, there he goes goodness. again. That's, goodness. There he goes again. I wonder if they'll even no, be able to give it a just, try. He just can't support the leg. Shot of xylocaine numbed my leg too much. And that became the clips and the photos that we all saw on the night of the warm-up. They have withdrawn. This couple have worked so many years to get to this point. They have strained, they have, they have gone on with it forever, and now at this moment, at the, at the threshold of giving them the opportunity to win or lose and stand on their own level, they've had to withdraw. What a luck of the draw, are you? After Lake Placid, when it didn't happen, for us, you know, there was a little confusion. What are we gonna do? And the main thing was, what we're gonna do is let Randy heal to see if he can skate. That was the question. Can he skate again? Will we skate again? And we had our commitment with Ice Capades coming up. We had actually knew we were gonna sign with them and tour with them coming up. So was that gonna happen? Was it a professional defeat as well? I had to get well. I did. I uh, did everything the doctors told me. I was doing physical therapy and I was pretty much focused on that, getting better, the physical, and trying to have the emotional come along with that.
Fine Randy, of course, turned professional and, and skated uh, with ice capades for a few years, and then went on to uh, perform shows all over the world. They were well liked all over the world and really wonderful ambassadors for the United States. We're so close, sometimes too close, but it worked. It worked. And I just, you know, I'm very protective of this relationship. That's our story. And next year we celebrate 50 years, so that's, that's five decades. That's a five decade friendship. And we still have a little glitter up our sleeves, so stay tuned.